One. Welcome to the Chop Shop, y'all. This is the time we're going to discuss a couple topics before we end the show for this week. So, um, hit me with the topics, though. Yeah, Let's we go. go. We're going to do a PTI style, so hood guru if you please. All right, topic number one, Vinny Testaverde. <laughs> Vinny Testaverde, topic number one, a senior college. citizen coming <laughs> back to the NFL. What's up with that, man? To me, it's surprising, you know what I'm saying? This dude is 44, I think. It's 43, a lot of, right? 43. It's a lot of other quarterbacks out there they could have fucked with. Tim Couch? I'll I, I tell you like this. I, uh, I can understand that reason why. Nine times out of ten, you want a coach on the field. And at 43, he qualifies as a coach. Why did he coach on the sideline? Then? But, but I mean, there's, there's other people out there that they could have got that job for. Exactly. I mean, you know, there's younger cats out there that's exactly. still in their prime. That could be backups, you know what I'm saying? Because exactly. they ain't going to play him unless they have to. I think you're right. No, and I think they are going to play him. I think they're going to start his ass sooner or later. If not this week, to be the following week. He's the most qualified to do it. Okay, he's, he's the, the most qualified school. out there to do it? No, I think well, okay, he got the most passes. What I'm saying is this. He's not a long-term solution. He's a affordable, quick-fix solution, and that's why they're doing it. Do I think they should give it to another guy and look for a long-term solution? Yeah, but they think Jake DeLong is their long-term solution. I disagree. But, I mean, he's he's a quick fix. Why put it in the hands of a senior citizen, though? Look. Player look, coach experience. Look, Sean King is out there. Yeah. Jeff Blank is out there. Cordell Stewart is out there. Tim Couch is out there. Uh, uh, hell, I mean, there's other there's other players that are out there. That could well, do what they're job. looking at, and, 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 and believe me, I agree with you. I think they should get a younger talent to do it. But what they're looking at, Vinny has been on the NFL roster more recently than those names you just named. And like I say, DeBerg was the same way. Chris Chandler the same but see, way. See, DeBerg never played to the end of his career. He was just a journeyman QB. He only made noise when he went to Atlanta and KC. It was the same thing Tessa Verde is. He's a journeyman. But he's played. He's played in Cleveland. He's played in New England. He's played in um, um, the Jets. Everywhere he played, he played significant time. I think he played a minute for the Ravens, right? Yeah, he did. He played. Maybe, I mean, legitimately played. played as a quarterback. I just, no, go ahead. No, I just look at it like there's a lot more talent out there that you can be signing, that you can be playing. Besides this old dude, his time has came and went. There's nothing he's going to bring us anymore. Right. Uh, better. We're not right. talking about Dan Marino. We're talking about Vinny Testaverde. You know what I'm saying? So you, you could get that job. To any, black or white, a younger quarterback could have that job besides old man Vinny. Just give somebody another opportunity. Just give somebody another opportunity. It's like working them jobs where the motherfucker won't retire. You know what I'm saying? All right, next topic. Travis Johnson, low hit from Trent Green. Speak on. You want to go first, dog? I'll go first. I'm not mad at him. I mean, if you're going to do that type of shit that, that Trent Green did do as a quarterback, Everybody know you're supposed to get the fuck out the way. If yeah. you're going to let your nuts hang, let them hang and deal with the consequences. Well, but, see, go ahead, go ahead. Go nah, on. but my thing, too, you're right. Don't go after nobody needs. And, and, and honestly, he could have peeled them from the side. The dude didn't even see him coming. All he had to do was put his shoulder in his midsection, and he was blasted. Yeah, now, I feel like we all know that's where quarterbacks usually hit linemen. You know, they hit them low and shit. My whole thing is... You, as Trent Green, you got put on the Mark and Mindy show last year. You was laid the fuck out. You look dead. Well, now, too. Now yeah, yeah, he's, on, he's right back now. on the Mark and Mindy show right now, you know. But my point is, you, you, you suffered a, a real uh, severe head injury last year. Why the fuck are you sticking your head in anything besides your woman's you-know-what? So not That's a smart. the only place. It was just stupid from the beginning. Not a smart business decision? That was a horrible business decision, <laughs> dog. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, so I'm saying, I ain't got no problem with him trying to, you know, come low on, on the brother and all that. I mean, it just was. I do. Cause I mean, it, it's more respect for the game that you have. It, it you know, they already outlawed the rules, say so you can't cut anyway. They said no it, more. Cut blocking. But I'm just saying, I'm saying, we all know that's the way uh, right. uh, quarterbacks usually come. They come low and hit linemen low and they try and deliver a block. I'm just saying, you, you as Trent Green, and, as this, and not just because you had a head concussion from last year, but you as Trent Green, 
who got hit low by Rodney Harrison and blew out your knee. That Shouldn't have right came low. That so I mean, you had right all kind of reasons that, that come right low. But he wanted, he wanted to hold himself as one of the fellas. With, with, with Dude, the you are the quarterback. You're yeah. one of the fellas. You're one of the fellas. You're the quarterback. No, I agree. You're I supposed agree. to sit down, he, lay he, down, he, and he order a hot dog until the plate was over. I mean, yeah, you know, we, we remember. Big time. You remember Dan Marino? Dan Marino used to throw like picks and watch motherfuckers run them back. Right. He wouldn't even try and go after right. him. You know why? Because he know, hey man, I can chase this motherfucker down. I might catch him. But he get paid to do one thing. Yeah. And that's throw the ball. Yeah. Next topic, D. All right. Retired NFL players sitting in old folks' home with no money for their past injuries while NFL. So the pensions for the old school players. NFL's making billions. Yeah, man. Right. That right there, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're children who grew up on the football of the 70s and the late 70s and, and the 80s. You know, when football was pretty much, you know, for us, the glory days. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Those dudes created this league, you know? Well, think about it. You didn't have the television contracts, the revenue, the endorsements. Football, you know, American football is worldwide. It's not the world's most popular sport. But when you have the union side with billions of dollars and the players associated don't want to give in, then you have the owner side with billions of dollars too, and everybody's pointing the finger at each other, but then they'll bring them out at halftime, or do an interview on him. And on show him off. And sure. show him off. Like, look what he done. He's a legend. But this dude is ailing. They're not asking for no astronomical amount of money. they just asking for something to cover their medical. Give them a good lifestyle where they can continue living and, and be comfortable with their pay. And let them live. Because a lot of stuff that is being diagnosed now, they kind of swept under the rug. And it led to tragic injuries or even death on some of the players. Yeah. I think the union and the owners union or whatever, the governing bodies are sleeping in the bed together. And eventually, the, what the players need to understand, the players union, they're eventually going to get fucked by the owners in the future anyway. These players of today, and I'm not saying the players, the owners are the one with the big pot. The players got a pot as well. I need more, more facts, but I would imagine that the owners have more money. I think both parties should kick in and rectify this situation. Former players deserve respect. First Not of all, money. back then, you didn't have the caps that you had. You had the superstar players making decent money. Then you had the regular players that worked two and three jobs after the season. Yeah. Now, uh, the, the, the lowest person on the roster makes three and a quarter, if not more. But the technology, excuse me for cutting you yeah. but the technology and equipment wasn't there. Not only that, the medical diagnosis was more or less like dog eat dog. If you can't go, you out next person in like a piece of meat. Yeah, and, and, and so it, it should be an honor to break them off because it's only right. You you got the, the money is there. It's only what, right. But what y'all really doing is y'all playing them like who's going to take care of Uncle Charles? I, I look, I watched Uncle Charles for the past three years. It's your turn to take care of Uncle Charles. You know, Man. everyone knows that situation of that uncle or grandma or whoever it is that the family don't want to keep. Nobody wants to watch them. Nobody wants to take care of them. But you know you're obligated to. But you really don't want to do it. It's time to quit bullshitting. Family's family and break these cats off so they quit trying to commit suicide or just go through a painful life. You know they made this league. If you all respect them like you say you do, put some money aside for them. I'm Both sides. Way. And on the real, if you guys are going to give players that make Mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake opportunities to reinstate themselves and come back in the league after you call yourself punishing them, then guys that have paved the way for them to have that opportunity and choice to make the union as strong as it is to fight different Take teams. that fine money instead of giving it to all these, I'm sorry, just giving it to all these That's different real. charities, put it into the, the fund for the retired players. Whoever make the most, put in the most. Man. Bottom line, both parties should kick in something. Yeah. Peace and lots of hair grease. We out. Chop shop. Done. West Hey, Taj Gibson. What's up, man? I know this ain't got nothing to do with football. USC Trojans, my man Taj Gibson. They gonna do it. Trojans might win that Final Four. <laughs>